What's up guys? Today is a day that the tubular setup is mounted. Here it is, painted with pour 15. Not too bad. Some spots I need to get still right here from the, where I was hanging it from. But yeah, you know, I, I, I called a fat man a couple times, fat man fabrications about, you know, some help before I even mounted these. So apparently there's a left and a right side. Um, I didn't know what bolts to get, so I just went to the hardware store and I got these half inch grade eight bolts with the coarse thread. And then I got some uh, nylon nuts. So yeah, the only thing I have to do is just to install them. See how they look. All right, guys. So I installed the upper control arms pretty nice still have to touch up that little area right there um, but now we pay attention to the lower control arms which with uh, I'm using coilovers actually and this is the bolt that secures the t-style lower mount of the coilover and it doesn't fit so we have to make the holes bigger and modify these a little bit. I already did it to this other one right here. You can see, boom, pretty good. Right here, this one fits as well. Um, it came with these, I mean, I don't know why they don't include grade eight bolts, but I guess these will do unless I have a, uh, some lying around that I'll put with a ni nylon uh, locking nut on there. But yeah, I have to open these up. Let's Here go. it is, the complete setup. Um, I kind of skipped over filming all the rest of the uh, installation. I just thought it was pretty straightforward um, as far as installing the control arms. Um, the upper control arms went in good, no problems. And when it got to the lower control arms, I kind of had some questions about the spacer area here. And I called uh, Fat Man Fabrications and they helped me out. Um, it comes with two uh, spacers and I use the wider one because it's the one that fit the most. Uh, the rear one, you, so you reuse the rear bolt that uh, came with the car. So we use the original bolt. And then I wasn't too sure, but there was a little, there's a little bit of space right there in the back of that uh, rubber mount there. And I tried to put the thinner one, the thinner uh, spacer that came with the kit, but it, it just, it didn't fit. So I'm hoping that when I tie this, you know, when I tighten everything up that it'll, uh, you know, close that gap, but we'll see. Um, also installed the coilover setup. These are from Viking Performance. It's a pretty awesome little setup here. And it was really easy to, to mount. Only thing is that because I have no engine, it was kind of hard to compress the spring. So that's why they tell you to put the, uh, the, the, the collar right here to put the spring all the way down to the last thread. That way it's a little bit easier to uh, compress that spring. So this is what the setup looks like. It's freaking awesome. Put the new idler arm on and that new power ram, power steering ram. So a lot of uh, every, pretty much the whole suspension is gonna be brand new. But now we have uh, something else to do and it's gonna be installing these. Boom, Willwood disc brake kit going on the Galaxy. So that one I am gonna film. <laughs> So we'll see how it goes with this installation. I've put one kit before in my 66 Mustang and it, again, it was pretty straightforward. So let's do it.
All right, guys, so right away, we have this little warning ticket here. And it's basically just saying that these uh, brackets that the kit comes with are uh, pre-tightened at the factory. And just loosen them up a little bit. That way you have some uh, adjustment or some play. So we're just going to start assembling these and let's do it. All right, guys, we got both our brake discs and hubs. We got them all greased up. So we're pretty much ready to go. Back oil seals are on. Everything is on. All the bearings have been packed. Now we're going to just tighten up the bracket, put some uh, red Loctite. And the one thing about this bracket that says in the instructions is uh, we want these um, I guess these bolts to not port protrude out of the bracket. So we want this not to come out because it will interfere with the, uh, the disc setup. So that's it, let's do it. We just have to make sure that it's parallel to the disc. So it looks pretty parallel to me, right? All right, now the instructions say to Torque the top bolt to 65 foot pounds. So I already did that. Really nice. And now it's saying to uh, remove this lower bolt and apply a Loctite to it. And uh, torque to 40 foot pound. And it looks like we're gonna do that to the bracket bolt as well. So these two right here. We're gonna do them two, one at a time. So we'll do this one, and then these two. 40 foot pounds and red Loctite. So let's go, let's take this off. All right guys, so all I did was mount the two bolts. Um, I put the two washers as it says on the instructions. That's noted right here. And then just make sure that it's centered, which looks pretty centered to me. And then you take out the first bolt over here, you take out the lower bolt and you Loctite it. And I put it to 40 foot pounds. And there you go. I put the cap on and it's, make sure it doesn't hit. There you go, very awesome. This, uh, I always, for some reason, I always end up like denting these and it just like bugs me, I don't know why. But this time I had this huge bolt, I mean this huge socket that I used to remove those uh, front lower uh, straight shaft bolts. And it's, this fit perfectly on the edges like that. You see that? Right on the edge. So that was perfect. Look at that. No dents. But this side is done. It's pretty cool setup. Um, I also bought the hoses for it, which don't come in the kit for whatever reason 
these are the hoses i'll probably uh redo the front brake lines and all that stuff but look at this mess i still have the other side to do so i think i'm gonna call it call the video end this video and uh, yeah any questions let me know in the comments this is a pretty cool setup um only thing i'm missing now are the the links here the end links and the center link but um i need the control valve to uh connect all that stuff so when i have that back i will connect all that stuff up put the end links here stabilizer bars whatever you want to call that and then uh put it on the floor finally so check that out super nice wow boom if you guys like the content subscribe and follow the galaxy build there you go awesome